admit it, we've put the Earth through a lot on this show. We've drained its oceans, shaped it into a football, and thrown it into the path of exploding stars. But now, the Earth is going to go up against its biggest challenge yet. Something that physicists call the most dangerous substance in the universe. Strange matter. A cosmic batch of destruction with an insatiable appetite. Imagine our planet is this juicy burger and that guy eating it? He's the strange matter. Why is the strange matter trying to eat us? And do we have any chance of making it out of this alive? This is what if, and here's what would happen if Earth was sucked into strange matter. So what exactly is strange matter? You know, besides something with a really cool name? Well, after a particularly violent neutron star explosion, an unpredictable and dangerous substance might get spewed into the universe. This substance is called strange matter. It's like a cosmic disease that eats and absorbs other matter, especially neutrons. What makes strange matter so dangerous to the universe is its low energy state. This is nature's preferred state because it's stable. Normal matter wants to be in the lowest energy state, making it more liable to transform into strange matter. And once it starts converting and eating neutrons, there's no stopping it until there's no normal matter left to eat. So what would happen if this hungry extraterrestrial force made its way to Earth? Well, brace yourself, you're on the dinner menu. First, the strange matter would start to chew on whatever it landed on. This could be anything from soil to buildings to planes flying in the air. It would act like acid and burn through the atoms of everything it finds, dissolving the neutrons and protons that make up the atoms and molecules of everything on Earth. Next, these neutrons and protons would be dissolved even further into their basic building blocks, known as up quarks and down quarks. Quarks are the smallest building blocks in the entire universe, and all normal matter is made of up quarks and down quarks. But now, the strange matter is devouring them. The down quarks will be assimilated and transformed into strange quarks. Imagine it like a massive fire spreading. The strange matter would continue to absorb and convert all the normal matter on our planet. The strange matter will continue to grow as long as there's food to feed it. And that's bad news for Earth as there's a planetary buffet of normal matter for the strange matter to chow down on. And for dessert, it'll eat you. Everything in your body, down to the smallest molecular building blocks, would dissolve. Your organs, your proteins, everything down to your atoms would be consumed by the unstoppable hunger of the strange matter. In the end, all that would be left of Earth would be a hyper-dense sphere 100 meters across. This whole feast could take as little as 10 hours or as long as two years. Hopefully, it'll happen fast. It'll be less painful that way. But could we really be Strange Matter's lunch? Well, here's the good news. We're not 100% sure that Strange Matter exists yet. While it is possible that it exists in the super high pressure of a neutron star, we haven't seen any strange matter yet. So if it is out there, it's unlikely that it exists outside of neutron stars. Phew. So we can be thankful that it's very unlikely that we'll meet our end at the hands of strange matter. It does make us think though about how incredible it is that such a tiny thing could wipe us out entirely. What if just a spoonful of a neutron star appeared on Earth? Well, that's a story 
for another What If?